She's the founder of a clean and cruelty-free skincare company that's changing the game when it comes to nourishing your skin. Dr. Christina Collins is helping women feel beautiful from the inside out with Foy, a product line that uses ingredients that are actually good for your skin. Dr. Collins joins us today to talk about that. Plus, she's opening up about the power of the divine feminine and why she wants to help women take ownership of their bodies and their health. This is Advocate Now. Well, Dr. Collins, you created a natural and clean skincare line that's vegan and cruelty-free. It's called Foy. So talk to me about the origin story and what inspired you to get into clean beauty. Absolutely. So at the core of my mission with Foy, I would say as a Harvard-trained dermatologist, I obviously know what are the ingredients that we have evidence to support that it really will change your skin over the course of your lifetime. So those hard hitting ingredients like retinoids and hyaluronic acid and high dose vitamin C, niacinamide, the core essentials. But I am very, very into holistic wellness, have been my entire life. And what I found was that I wanted to use ultra clean skincare and I wanted my patients to use ultra clean skincare, but I really couldn't find that ultra clean waterless brand with no, no, no's that also had those hard hitting evidence backed ingredients. So really out of just the desire to provide that for my own skin and also for my patients, I started dreaming up what is now Foy by Dr. Collins. We, many people are into clean living, but they might not take into account that the skin is the body's largest organ and that we really need to be aware of what we're putting on our skin. So what types of effects can chemicals and preservatives have on the body when they're used in skincare? I think a lot of people have this misconception that they put something on topically and that it doesn't go into their body. Um, that's not true. They've actually done a lot of studies where they've even taken blood samples after someone uses, say, a chemical sunscreen, and they can find those chemicals in the bloodstream. The truth is, is that we don't know a lot about what these various chemicals cause. What we do know is, and what I think it's important for everyone to know, is nothing in nature is like pure white cream. That doesn't exist. So anytime you're using a skincare product that's just like that bright white cream, just know that a bunch of chemicals have been put in there to make it look that way, to make it feel that way, and potentially to make it smell that way. We have some evidence that some of those chemicals could be even dangerous, um, even cancer causing chemicals. Some of them could cause, you know, something like dermatitis, some eczema, skin irritation, acne. Um, there's even evidence that some of these chemicals can disrupt our hormone balance, our hormonal system. So I really think that there's probably a lot that will emerge in the future about what are the true dangers of some additives that we have in so many different self-care products. But I really wanted to be on the cutting edge of just completely eliminating those sorts of ingredients from my skincare line. And in addition, creating these waterless products, I think a lot of people don't realize that the majority of the skincare products that they're putting on their face or that they're spending their money on are made of water. The majority of the, the product is water. So you're really spending money on a lot of nothing. And I think with ultra concentrated products where every ingredient is an active ingredient at an active level. Yeah, that's so important, especially as you're mentioning, a lot of these products cost hundreds of dollars for, you know, exactly. any tube that doesn't even last that long. But your products use a mixture of antioxidants, vitamins, and botanicals. It's all about promoting beauty from the inside out. Are there any specific ingredients that you can share that maybe haven't gone viral yet or aren't that known, but are actually hidden gems? Um, one that I'm thinking of on pan is Indian gooseberry. A lot of people haven't heard of that, but it's been shown in studies to drive up collagen production by 87%. So that's incredible. We all know it's all about the collagen. 
There's another one, ashwagandha extract, which is a very powerful. And um, another favorite of mine, astaxanthin, which is an ingredient in my antioxidant serum that really at a cellular level helps with DNA repair and helps with that cellular um, metabolism. And yes. you grew up in a family that practiced ancient Eastern medicine and healing modalities. What are some of the lessons or tips that you learned from your family and how has that played a role in FOI, would you say? Oh, everything. Um, just the inherent knowledge of our connectedness as people uh, with the environment. I think um, one big factor that went into FOI is the sustainability factor and the charitable factor. So we donate proceeds from every sale to our two charities, Girls Empowerment Network and Safe Alliance, and have made sustainable choices by eliminating plastics from the packaging, really reducing the potential for microplastics and things that are so damaging to the environment. On a formula level, keeping things completely clean and non-toxic, all of those things are in touch with my background in a holistic family. Um, another one is that boy products come with these individual mantras, meditations, and this entire really amazing wellness skincare ritual. I learned meditation at a very young age from my parents and um, growing up with a dad who's a chiropractor and acupuncturist, holistic medicine was really the only type of medicine I was exposed to. I have found that those tactics like gratitude, presence, meditation are really at the core of wellness and have been a huge part of my life. I want to talk to you about the feminine products that you've created, because I think a lot of people are uncomfortable talking about women's health. You decided to create a vulva treatment oil and serum. Why did you decide to create that? So this is a real passion project for me. I think, um, you know, I could see that there's products geared towards every part of a woman's body. And yet so little is said about the vulva. And I think really, I can give an example, for example, when patients come in and they might have a concern on their vulva and they are going to say about four, I'm sorry. And, um, oh, I should have shared oh, with this and that before they actually let me see it. And what I see when I um, experience that is that there's a lot of shame. I think as women, we have a shared experience of shame, the same as experienced by any group that's been somewhat marginalized by a patriarchal society. And I think that part of breaking apart that patriarchy is by empowering all of us to talk about the issues that affect our bodies, to actively address the issues that affect our bodies and to take control of our own health and take ownership of our bodies. I feel like it's such an important part of our empowerment. So as a dermatologist, I know that the skin of the vulva is some of the most complex on the entire body. So there's this interplay of hormones, microbiome, potentially inflammation from things like hair removal, friction, heat, like it's a swamp in Texas right now, by the way. So, you know, all of these things are at play, making this region of skin the absolute most complex and so important to have a daily skincare regimen. And you're talking about empowerment. I, I love that the mission of your brand is to empower and inspire women to connect deeper with themselves and the divine feminine. But for those who aren't aware of the term divine feminine, it's an ancient concept used in various cultures, referring to the goddess energy that exists within all of us. Why do you think that cultivating and strengthening the divine feminine is so important? The divine feminine for me is something to be said about the power and the beauty of all of us as women or all of us who experience that part of that energy. And I think for so long, that divine feminine has been really stifled. Mm -hmm. But for our entire humankind to be healthy and for us as individuals to be healthy, we need to be able to embrace the divine feminine and be proud of it. I mean, every human on this earth was created in a uterus cell by cell. And that's incredible. And our bodies are so powerful. Our character is so powerful. We have so much to be proud of in terms of the energy that we bring into this world. And I think that through just little things like applying a vulva treatment oil every night, you can tap into that 
power and that magic that exists inside of us. I'm Sonia Baghdadi. Thanks for watching and advocating. For more stories and content like this, visit advocate.com and advocatechannel.com. Oh, 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 oh,